Hey folks, today we are taking a look at Generation 1 HorrorCon Ape Face. Now you may be wondering, where did I pick this guy up? Well, I got him off of eBay a few years ago, and I recently found him on a trip to my uh, storage unit, aka my parents' basement. Anyway, so this is a HorrorCon, and there were only two HorrorCons, Ape Face and Snapdragon. Now Ape Face is a jet, a gorilla, and a robot. He is also a headmaster. Snapdragon, his partner, is a jet-space shuttle combination thing. Actually, no, it's just a jet. It's more like an SR-71. And a uh, Tyrannosaurus and a robot, who is also a headmaster. So, him being a headmaster, he does have a little headmaster in this compartment right here, by the name of Spasm. Now, I'm going to take it off the uh, turntable here in a second and get a better look at the jet mode, or a better look at the uh, headmaster, but I wanted you guys to get a good look at the jet mode. It is an interesting jet mode. It's not perfect by any means. It kind of only vaguely looks like a jet in the back, considering you've got all this kibble coming off of it, but in the front, it actually looks like a futuristic jet from the 80s. Ape Face's partner, Spasm, is held in the cockpit here and he just pops right out. Ape Face also comes with two accessories. One gun, and this rear tail wing shield bit. I kind of wish he had two guns, because that would make it a little more interesting, but the guns are nicely molded, or the gun is nicely molded. It looks pretty good. And then the shield is just fine. It's, it's a shield. It's solid, hard plastic. Spasm himself is very plain, only sporting gray, black, and purple. Though you turn him around and he does have some uh, different coloring for the different heads. So to transform him, just fold his legs up. That's it. So on the one side, he has his gorilla head, which I really wish those teeth were painted silver. And then on the other side, he has the face of Ape Face. Kind of a boring face, actually. Ape Face's transformation is pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and start off with turning him into the gorilla mode. First, fold up the wings, like that. Then take the nose cone and fold that underneath the vehicle completely. Turn the figure upside down, or turn the plane mode upside down, and take the canopy section and unpeg it, or we can just go back to the way it was, and just peg it and flip it up like that. Then take the lower legs, which are at the back of the plane mode, and fold them forward, and then crook them down and fold down the feet. Now, in, in ape mode, you can display the, or you can have the robot arms positioned any way you wish. I like to push them and have them pointing down into the back. These pylon sections here, which are actually the jet intakes, will then fold out the ape arms. And they're not really gorilla arms, they're more like gorilla armed hooks. So I'll just do that on this side. And then for the head, we will take the gorilla head and the line right there will peg in to this area up here. So there we have Ape Face in Gorilla Mode. It's an interesting Gorilla Mode. It, there's definitely a bit, of a bit of a creative liberty taken with it. It's not real stable, but you can put it on all fours, which I'll do in a second. And it looks like Ape Face's robot face is just looking out back behind his head, so he has eyes in the back of his head. You can actually display him having like hanging off of something like a piece of string or something like that, and that works just fine. Or you can have him kind of get down on all, more on all fours, like this. Just kind of pose the arm, the rear legs like that. So there we've got him on all fours. Unfortunately, he's looking straight at the ground. He's not really looking forward at all. You know, the ape mode, it's not bad. It's definitely unique. I will give it that. It's by no means bad. Now, we can do a straight conversion into robot mode from here. So we will pop the head off, fold the arms back up into the air intake areas, and then just leave them as is. These black pieces that, are, that make up the gorilla's chest fold out to form the robot legs, like that. Then these feet 
sections will actually fold, the feet will fold up and then making sure that this textured part is pointing forward, just fold the legs back and fold down the robot arms, slide them down and take the these sections and make sure they fold up to form the backpack and then we will attach the head. As you can see, speed is decent, strength is really up there, and he's kind of stupid. In robot mode, he actually looks pretty cool. I like the look of him in robot mode. Except for the gigantic backpack he's got going on here. Now the pin that holds the backpack on is a little loose and that does cause the figure to be horrifically top heavy and fall over. One fix for this is to actually deploy the wings and just fold the wings out, fold the backpack up so it's flush and then kind of lean the figure over and that sometimes balances it, sometimes not. As you can see it really didn't help us here. So we'll just fold those wings back up. Unfortunately, that's just the way the figure is. That's the way he is since I got him. So, another fix that I have found is to actually fold the backpack down at his feet and just give him some rear ankles. Yeah, it doesn't work that well. It's really ugly, but that's just something that will help him stand. Another thing you can do is to actually fold the, the arms out and use those as extra support legs. So you've got some extra support going on here. Again, not very elegant, but it works, so I'm not going to futz with it too much. Normally, I leave this guy in plain mode because I think that's his best mode. I think the plain mode is the best for him. Now, I'd love to get a hold of a Snapdragon. I have been looking for several years on eBay, and I haven't seen anything less than about sixty to a hundred dollars for a complete Snapdragon. Now obviously as you can see in this on my ape face he's not exactly what I would call clean. It's not a very clean toy. I've had to uh, it pit well to be honest it picks up dust real easy. But overall I like this figure. As a G1 uh, headmasters are some of my favorite G1 figures and this guy definitely fits that bill and he's interesting. He's got interesting modes. The ape mode is interesting, the robot mode is pretty cool, and the, the jet mode, I really like the jet mode and I have it transformed wrong. But I like this jet mode. It just screams 80s to me or what the 80s thought the future would be look like. So guys, Ben Bolt Matrix, you know the drill, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.